In this video, I'm just going to give an introduction to Ubuntu for some people who might have just switched to Ubuntu. And so, this will just show them how to navigate around. And so, first when you get on here, you'll have your background image and your applications. We'll just have default applications in here. You won't have Wine. You won't have programming. I don't even know if you'll have system tools. And then here you'll have places. I renamed documents to stuff. But this is just basically all you'll have. This will take you to documents. This is where you'll put your music, pictures, and videos. Computer. Now, Linux is not like Windows where everything is stored in program files and windows and stuff you have file system and a bunch of different things most of your files for your programs are stored in USR or user share and these are where a bunch of your program some of their program files are installed they're really program files and you can't really mess with those like you can in Windows and uh, you can't get viruses in Ubuntu you have to make sure you it'll like prompt you to install them yourself so it's really hard to get viruses in Ubuntu and so he, from here you can navigate around to this uses the Nautilus file browser, file manager. It's not Explorer. It doesn't crash like it does in Windows. Um, the add and remove programs list. This is where you add and remove programs. It's pretty self-explanatory. Up here you'll search for a program and this has every program available for Ubuntu mostly every program and if you do want a program that's not on here you can download it from the internet as a .deb file um, in system you have preferences sometimes you have to download file sharing other times you don't it's very weird and this enables you to file share with Mac and Windows computers so here it puts up an FTP server places network is just the same works just the same as Windows. And as you can see here, we have Cascader's iPod, Cascader's iPod, Cascader's Mac, Cascader's Mac, Cascader's Mac, and a Windows network. And the wind and you can connect to all of these devices. It'll prompt you for a password, but you can't connect It'll, it'll be different for yours. It won't be Cascaders, of course. But it's unable to mount. That just means there's no devices on there. Because we're on a Mac network. And so... Now we... Now that we've had a run-through of the network... Um... Administration... The Synaptic Package Manager... It is just like the uh, add and remove programs, only it's a little bit more advanced. All of these tools, you can view information about your network with network tools. See all this. See the ping. Here. Just do a little demonstration.
and 77 milliseconds 75 75 that is what I got from an internet test just earlier today so it's pretty accurate and you can just look up you can finger and you can do who is on the domain address just a bunch of useful tools and so I hope this helps with you people who have just switched over from Windows and need to get a head start on Ubuntu and so maybe now you can put some of my other videos to use more.